He's defensively marked by White Cloud. A turnover. Perry right in. Just off his stick. He was taken down by Nick Holden. Well, the turnover by Vegas. And Corey Perry read it beautifully. And as he made the strong move to the net, he went to his backhand and just couldn't get the shot. He makes the defensive play first, and now we'll move up on the play. And he'll read this, put himself in position, fights for the loose puck, and the puck just goes off the end of his stick. Now Montreal right back. Here comes Gallagher. His shot turned out by Leonard. And then Gallagher fans on the rebound opportunity. And meanwhile, just prior to that, here's the speed that you're talking about. Gallagher gets a shot. Leonard able to come up with the save, Pierre. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you by the by testing. Robin Leonard. But Free to the corner, Yoel Armia, stall in back of the cage, out in front, and it rolls off the stick of Perry again. Corey Perry staked out, stall in front, Armia, stopped by Leonard. Now stall, trying to play it off the goaltender, it comes all the way back, Petrie with a shot wide, through a screen. And Patrick Brown has control, and Vegas will survive all of that. Uh, Montreal Canadiens have established this forecheck early on here in game four. Robin Leonard's being tested, and he's hanging in there. Johnny made the point. He's coming up big, especially down low. White Cloud pinching for the Golden Knights. Kakadiemi gets to it. Watch this. Joel Edmondson on Will Carrier right there. That's a dangerous play. That is really dangerous. In fact, there's no call right there. Dan O'Rourke's looking right at it. That makes you wonder what the standard's going to be here tonight. Corey Perry, he'll shift. He'll go to work again from both knees out in front. What a save! Leonard says no on Eric Stahl. He's got it. They're checking to see if the stall opportunity crossed the line yes. on Robin Leonard. That's why we have a delay. Oh, what a save. And another excellent play by Corey Perry. Corey Perry's had the puck around the Vegas net a number of times. There it is again. That's just a... It wasn't the first one. It was the second one on the rebound that they're checking. Because that first save was a, a beautiful save, pad save. And here's the second. Oh, I boy. see the puck outside the line. Yeah. I never see a cross. Yeah. I don't know. So they're done looking at it. Right. And I don't think we'll get an interpretation. Now Gallagher, great pass. Philip Dano goes wide. And it's defended beautifully by Alex Petrangelo. Out. 545 left period one. Josh Anderson defended by Holden. They got a second crack at it. He'll turn it deep. Kakadiemi holding onto it. A power move out in front. Vegas gets back to the defensive house. This line is flying for Montreal. William Carlson cycles high with it. Shea Theodore to the outside of Toffoli. Shielded off the stick of Price. Well, an early save for Carey Price. This shot looked like he was screened on the play. Picked it up right at the end and just gets a piece of it with the stick. Gallagher busting in for Montreal. He stops on a dime, a backhander stop, and Leonard got the rebound. Petrangelo on the, the right defense and makes a very good move, and but Deneau just stayed with him defensively, which allowed Montreal to clear the zone, and then away goes Gallagher, and you're right, 23 and white. Martinez comes all the way back to help out. Look where he had to start from. He was at the top of the circle, and he had to try to catch up to a swift Brendan Gallagher, and he does a good job running Gallagher. It rolls in on Leonard. Suzuki darting right in front of him. McNabb hurried by Caulfield. A wrap chance stopped by Leonard. Kakaniemi through the middle. Nice pass off the stick of Anderson. Melted down by Leonard. Now some rough stuff. Well, Anderson stopped right in front of Leonard, and then Cruz passed him, and she, and Theodore didn't like it, and so Anderson drew a crowd. Eight hits for Anderson already in this game. And meanwhile, there's the chance by Suzuki, 14, almost got to the puck before Robin Leonard was able to clear it. And then one more, watch 22. Coppio steals it, and then that quickness right around the net and Robin Leonard there again. It's amazing how pucks come to goal scores and when you're a real good goal scorer and you can go four check the puck and force turnovers. It's amazing how much it can help your line mates out as well. Shea Weber moves it back. The Canadians a, a huge story in the playoffs. Down 3-1 in round one came all the way back. Upset Toronto. Swept Winnipeg. At the start of these playoffs they were 500 to 1 under No six better be careful behind the plays tied up with Weber. And Weber's they're going to rip his head off if he's not careful. Well, he wants to get Weber off the ice. 
Well, it started yeah, he, before that. It yeah, was a hit, hit from behind. Yeah, you're right. Hit him twice, actually. No sick did. And then Weber, and the referee was right there. And he saw, first he saw no sick with the two hits on Weber. And then he saw Weber get incensed and go back at no sick. And now I think they're both heading off here. Yeah, yeah that's probably what he was trying to do. But I'll tell you one thing, Joe, right now, Jay Weber's the wrong guy to get ticked off. I agree. Especially if you're Thomas Nosek. Yeah. So the referee let that hit from behind on Nosek go, and then he let all this stuff go until the end. Petrie and Edmondson back in the four-on-four -four sequence. Theodore to the slot, Stone to the outside. Petrangelo stopped by Price. And so a very brief five-on-three coming up for Vegas. That's Kerry Price fighting off that high, hard shot. To the half boards, he sets up shop. Now Stone all the way across. Pacioretty, he loses control. Lacking it all over him. Carlson can't win that battle, and the Canadians get it out. What an effort by Arturi Lekkonen. Johnny just made the point. Their playoff performance has been phenomenal shorthanded. Look at this effort by Lincoln. And he just never quit on the play, out muscling people, wanting the puck more, and clearing it up and out of the zone. Up top, Petrangelo. He'll slam one off the pipe. Dano got to it. Not out. Held in by Petrangelo. Alex Petrangelo thinks about a shot. Marcia so off a body. Off Price. Went off Weber first. Petrangelo to the outside. It's Pacioretty. He'll draw it along. He'll settle it down. Off Carlson. Captured by Dano. He'll get it out. Well, in that time, Stone was directly in front of Carey Price. The first one hit the post. Price didn't see it. The next one deflected wide. Now Mar Martinez in the zone. Moves it in by Price at the side of the goal. Wah! Great stick by Weber. One shot on the power play. One pipe. That doesn't count as a shot. Now a breakaway. Paul Byron is in. He scores! Paul Byron breaks the ice. Montreal with a 1-0 lead. Paul Byron had the winner in game two on a breakaway. And here's the pose for Alex Petrangelo. It doesn't go in and show the other way it comes. And off to the races they go. And Weber makes the play right here. Saved the goal. Waugh had all that room. And right after that, they clear it. And here comes the pass from Suzuki. Breakaway. And Byron waits and puts it up high. Interference is the call. Power play Montreal to Foley. In deep, Perry in front for Suzuki. Shut down. Great save by Robin Leonard. Mark that one. Nine seconds left here in the second period. A disturbance in back of the play. Suzuki and McNabb. Petrangelo two. And we'll see what happens here. Well, Suzuki had that chance. And right after the save by Leonard, which was a good one, he gets hit and tangled up by McNabb. I believe he broke his stick. And then he and McNabb, and that's the thing about Suzuki, for a young player boy, he doesn't back down. And here's the play again. Eventually in front, here it is, shot, breaks his stick, and now McNabb does that to him. There it is again, and Suzuki says, I'm not gonna take that. I'm not gonna take that, takes another push and says, you know what, I gotta push back, takes the left hand by McNabb, Mark uh, Petrangelo comes in. It draws more of a crowd. Corey Perry's always around. Lay it along now, moved in Merrill. His shot rejected by Leonard, the rebound. Caulfield, and what a stop by Leonard. That's his best on the second opportunity for Cole Caulfield. Deflecting back, and now Cole Caulfield with a step on Theodore. Here he comes, Caulfield's in. Shut down by Robin Leonard. Now that chance, watch Suzuki, 14. He makes a defensive play, and then Caulfield takes advantage of the misplay, and away he goes. The speed, and he's got fabulous hands, and Robin Leonard, you're right, Pierre, remember this one. Yeah, you see the speed, you see, look at his head, it's up. He thinks he's got five hole, Leonard takes it away from him. Now Theodore to the corner, Carlson. 
Shifting on Merrill. He'll try this side. There's McNabb. They score! Braden McNabb leaks it through Carey Price. And with 9.23 left, the Golden Knights have tied it. Well, Anson Carter was saying between periods, he'd like to see something more out of Carlson. And he sees it right here. Carlson ends up making the play from behind the net. McNabb read it. There's the first chance. Suzuki broke that one up. But then 71 is Carlson. Good move here, Pierre. And then the setup. What a finish, though, by McNabb. I love the setup by Carlson. His head is up. He puts it in the wheelhouse for McNabb. That's a hard shot, Joe. A crossbody shot like that. And he finds a way to sneak it past Carey Price. Just remember that save Robin Leonard made against Cole Caulfield because it should be 2 nothing Montreal. It's 1-1. He'll dump it in. Lekin it in first ahead of Martinez. Wedged right on. Leonard, two saves, a third stop as Gallagher came calling. Yeah, Montreal on a simple dump in. Watch the end. Oh, he just puts it in, and now they go to work. They get in quickly. Here's one deflection there, and then another one. And Leonard makes two key saves and then gets some help coming back from Mac Max Pacioretty. Brendan Gallagher's like a heat-seeking missile here. Watch number 11 in the middle of your screen come careening right in fearlessly. Yeah. As the Canadians try to advance out, Tuck goes across. Pacioretty on a change. He'll circle the track. He'll wind one off sticks. It's available. Price says no. The rebound. They score. Nick Waugh does it. And the Vegas Golden Knights win game four in overtime. Long shift for Sherrod and Weber. Live legs off the bench for Vegas. And they make it two to one because of those live legs, Joe. Well, Max Pacioretty came off the bench. And when he went around the net with the puck, he was able to get it to the front of the net. Nick Waugh now has goals in consecutive games. And this one's a game winner. Watch Pacioretty. That's Waugh. They, Montreal can't clear it out. Here's Pacioretty with the puck. Now he's got some speed, some energy. He'll, he'll be able to get it across on net. One save. Price can't make the second. Strong move by Pacioretty. The deflection. Wow, one shot. Excellent save by Price. And then Price out of position as Waugh is able to put it up and over him and tie the series at two. He grew up just outside Montreal. What a moment for Vegas' Nick Waugh with the overtime winner. Series again on level ground for the second time. It's best of three, and home ice is back on the side of the Vegas Golden Knights.